Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 and today I've got somewhat of a special video for you because this is a gameplay video from the patch 9.6 test server. I was trying out the FV4202, this is the tier 10 British medium tank and the title of this video is Don't Give Up and the reason why I'm uploading this video is because I want to show you guys that even if you kind of mess up early on in a World of Tanks battle you can still influence the outcome of that fight and uh, you just have to pull yourself together and stay calm and concentrate and then you can still have a positive impact on that game so I'm just going to quickly stop the game here because uh, I just want to quickly explain to you what my plan is for this game now I want to head out to the hill in the center of the map because that is where I really like to go in medium tanks which have good gun depression like this FV4202 and from there I want to snipe down into, or not snipe but put down flanking shots into the base and uh, the enemy spawn point. Now the problem with the FV4202 is that it's got a very low top speed of only 40 kilometers per hour so um, the question is will I be able to get up here before the enemy tanks block my way and apparently I won't because if I try to get up there uh, I will get completely shot down by all those tanks so I was quite lucky that I bounced a shot of that FV215B and I'm getting heavily blocked by my allies here so I realise that I cannot go up there and I decide to uh, poke down these guys here instead so just looking for a good opportunity to come round and take a shot and I'm going to go for this object 140 he shoots at me so I decide it's time for me to come out but um, I missed my shot and hit his up glacius now this was a really stupid mistake I decided to trade shots for 113 and he's got way higher alpha damage than me he's got 50 more alpha damage so that was a mistake but I'm still on like above half life but there I got completely wrecked and really that's something you never want to do in a medium tank is come around corners and trade shots with enemy heavy tanks that's not what medium tanks are there for medium tanks aren't there for trading shots they're there for flanking and taking shots from behind or side so that was badly played by me but right there I decided to come out and bait out that T62A because he saw that I was in low health so he got greedy and I took advantage of his greed and took him out in turn. So right now I realise I really didn't play this very well and I also realised that I cannot achieve anything on this flank anymore because there's a Waffen Trigger of E100 back there at the enemy spawn who's uh, just sniping down at us all the time and I really cannot do anything there so I decided to change flanks and straight away I get good flanking shots of his FV215B183 however all our allies on this flank have been taken out there's only still um, let me see a STB1 providing supporting fire from that hill up there so I get another shot into the FV I think I might have tracked them there I'm not sure and right now he's in cover now um, I'm trying to get shots shot at him, but he's behind the house. And right there, I could see that the other FE, which is positioned around here, was not aiming at me. And because he was reversing, I think that he's probably already fired a shot. So the reload on the FE215B is about 25 minutes. Uh, not minutes, 25 seconds. 25 minutes would be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's 25 seconds about. So, um... He will not be able to shoot at me probably when I come round this corner, so I'm quite safe now. So I come round and take him out. That's my second kill. But the enemies are still capping the base. So I really have to do something about this soon. Because there are at least two enemies in the enemy base. So luckily that other FE215B183 makes a really stupid mistake. Probably not on purpose. I mean obviously not on purpose, but um he extended a bit too far behind that building and I got a nice clean shot in the rear of his tank. There was some RNG involved, but that set the cap back. However, there's still a Jagdpanzer LP100 in the enemy base, or actually in the encounter base. And <laughs> I managed to pick up the kill steal. He was uh, burning 
from a shot from that FE215B up there. And I bounce a shot there, I don't know from whom, so I'm being very careful now. I stay behind this house, and this pattern isn't looking too healthy either. He's only got 240 hit points as well. So, he's going in very aggressively, so I figure, okay, I mean, you know, there's nobody here actually, so if he can go there without getting shot at, maybe I can too and get some shots at IS-7 there. And, sure enough, I get behind the cover of this rock, fire one on the move, miss, stay in cover to reload, and IS-7 gets in cover before I can put another shot in. However, he gets pushed back by my allies there, and I manage to get a shot into him. 215B completely misses a shot, and I finish him off, picking up my fifth now, since I came here, I picked up four kills when I was below 202 hit points. And now there's only a buff and trigger of E100 and a bat shot left of the enemy team. So I'm playing this very cautiously because I know where the buff and trigger of E100 is posi positioned. He's to my left. And really, I cannot rush him without taking fire from the bat shot, which I really cannot afford right now with my low hit point pull. So. I'm just going to stay back, be very passive here, but now that I see that the M48 pattern is going ham on the battle trigger, I decide to get myself into a position from where I could hit the bat shot, and as you can see I decide to load premium ammunition here, the premium ammunition in the FE4202 is HESH, so it's actually similar to HE ammunition, it gets slightly lower penetration, than the standard ammo, but more penetration than HE, but does the same damage, or yeah, I think it does the same damage as HE ammo. So that can be quite effective when you're shooting at vehicles like the Bat Shot or the Waffen Trigger. So I'm trying not to tunnel vision here because um, I really don't want to get popped by that Waffen Trigger. And now this Bat Shot's making a run for it. So I'm preparing my shot, and oh great, firing HE really paid off for me there, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so, it's okay, it's all cool. I get another shot into him, and this time we really do a lot of damage, probably wrecked some modules too. And I'm lining up my last shot, but he drives it to cover just before, and I completely mess up my shot once again. Waffentrag has been taken out, and... He just wants to shoot me right now, but I decide to take the risk, I come out, I auto him so that my curse will be right on him when I come around the corner, and I manage to pick up my top gun. So, uh, yeah, really, I hope that this game could show you that even if you really screw up early on in your match, you can still, just by, you know, reversing and just taking a second just to consider what your next step could be, just if you stay calm and really think through your actions, then you can still have a good game, you know, even if you mess up. And that is especially important in my opinion for medium and light tank drivers because these tanks have got the maneuverability to change position and get into a place where they can still affect the battle positively rather than say a heavy tank or a tank destroyer which are kind of more stationary in a battle and once they go somewhere they're committed. But if you're on light or medium tanks, I hope this video has kind of inspired you to not completely give up uh, if you just kind of took a few hits early game and are on low health, because you can still achieve something. But I don't want to wrap up this video right here yet, because we still have to have a look at the post-game stats, so I'll see you in a second. So, uh, we managed to get an ace tanker badge and a top gun in that game. Also, 60,000 credits and 3,800 experience about. And we can see that we managed to finish off best in the entire team. I mean, not by damage dealt, but by experience. And, um, yeah, that is actually quite good. I mean, it wasn't an absolutely awesome game, but it was very decent. And we fired 19 shots, 15 hit, 13 penetrated, very average. Did... 3,500 damage, and that is quite good, 
received six hits we got quite lucky with two non-penetrating hits and also we actually managed to do quite some spotting damage and spotting for our team so yeah that was quite a nice result and i was really surprised that i got an ace tanker badge for this game if somebody had told me that i'd get an ace tanker badge for this game just after I had been completely obliterated by those heavy and medium tanks on the ridgeline there, I would have never believed them. But just by staying calm and making some good calls in that game, even after I really messed up early game, I could really turn this battle around for my team and for myself. And I dare say that we would have lost this game if I hadn't had the impact in it that I did. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, consider rating it down below. And you can also obviously sub to my channel, that would make me very happy. And um, yeah, I hope I see you for my next video, it will be coming up next Friday. Probably a tank review, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you then, and bye-bye.